right, sister. Oh god, water. Water is never good. Especially in this game. I haven't seen one of those splashing monsters for a while. I haven't seen a flashback for a while either. Water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Oh, my. Like the drink. It will, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. Yay, water-powered castle. This is just like mist. Anyways, uh, I have to go in the water, don't I? Well, this area is well lit. That's something. Hopefully I don't get a splasher. Crap, crap, crap. Huh. I guess the water is safe. There are crates and tinder. I feel better now. I don't think there are any splashers here. Nope, this area is actually safe. For now. I have a feeling it's not going to stay that way knowing this game. I hear crying. And jumping puzzles. Oh crap, I barely made that one. Let's see here. Ooh, a crank! Whoa, that was close. Oh shit! No, I don't think- is that a splasher? I don't think it was. I think just something just fell from the ceiling. Ooh, a note. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled <laughs> only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Aw, turns out they were buddy-buddy before Daniel kind of wanted to kill Alexander. Well, that's convenient. That was... Shit. Well, that's not good. The light is gone. Actually, no, it's not. It's still well lit, lit enough that my sanity isn't being affected. And just as I say that, the gamma dies. There we go. I don't see any monsters. Ooh, treasure! Yay! I hear water. Is that crying coming from in there? Oh, well, I can't see it. But yeah, the, it's dark now. Kinda. Well, no, I'm not getting night vision, so it's not... I don't think the game is... No, wait, no, the game is counting it as dark. I'm seeing the distortion. Game does count it as dark. Never mind. That area is light. Alright, let's go over there. I'm just gonna follow the light sources. Uh, hopefully there aren't any splashy monsters. Is that a fish? Hey, it's a fish! I don't feel safe anymore. Yeah, that is a fish. Crap. I'm gonna have water monsters, aren't I? Let's see, uh, bridge... Can I open... Can I lower this? Come on, Daniel, push! 
Okay, I need, maybe I can throw something at it. Are there any rocks? Oh wait, there's one. All right, just gotta aim this carefully. There we go. Oh, holy crap, that must've been a rusty uh, chain. Either that or Daniel was obscenely good at throwing things. Which I wouldn't doubt considering when he tried to when he broke down that wall by throwing a chair at it. That or this place has really shoddy workmanship. Hey, another note. 8th August 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Science! Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Oh God! Alexander me. quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, nope. but I have a bad feeling about this. For a second there, I read warding as wedding. That would have been awkward. What does this do? Uh, more redirecting, okay. Oh god. I have a feeling once I flip the last one, all hell's gonna break loose. Uh, this area doesn't seem like it would be an area where the grunts would appear. More like splatter lots and sp OH GOD! Actually, I'm still safe, I think. Okay, I think I'm still okay. Shit! Oh no, that's just the water. Oh, I thought that was a monster. Okay, I'm still okay. I could use a bit more lamp oil though. And I'm surprisingly sane for this long- Wow, it's actually been a while since I've been sane. That being said, hey fish! I'm going to run onto dry land as quickly as possible. Hey, steam! Oh god, I hate steam! Okay, I'm gonna have to be quick about this. There we go. What does this do? Okay, it turns off the steam. Ow! That steam has done more damage to me than half the monsters in this game. Actually, that's a lie. I died to one of the monsters. That's more damage than a bit of steam. I think this is the last note. 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all. But surely, there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Huh. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the valve. I think this is the last one. When I turn this, I have a feeling all hell is about to break loose. I am going to leave now. First things first, let's light up. Alright. I don't see any splashers. I see fish. Alright, this is going to be one mad dash. Alright. Oh 
Oh shit, I hear splashing! Oh. Looks like I'm fine. Never mind. I think there was a guy in there. Oh well. Let's get the hell out. That was really safe, actually. That was easy. Despite the fact that I almost died due to steam. Huh. Uh, let's see. No wall meat yet. That means I'm not done. I think I have to go over there. Whatever there is. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay, looks like I have to push it. Uh, do I have... Oh, I get it. I know what I have to do. I have to wait for that to go up all the way first. Come on. Hurry up. The, a lot of the puzzles in this game are kind of like Valve puzzles. A lot of physics and... Yeah, basically just a lot of physics. Alright, I have to be quick about this. Come on. Go up. Up, boy, up! Go up! Go up, you stupid bridge. I know I'm right! I didn't pull it up all the way, did I? No, I don't think I did. Come on. There we go. Alright, now I just need a running start. If I fall and die, I'm gonna be so pissed. Come on. Alright, let's do this. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh shit, that almost killed me. Uh, I'm gonna see a stand here for a second, let my health regen. I did not think uh, it worked. I don't know if you had to throw something at it, but it worked. Yeah, use the last of my linoleum. Okay, I'm okay now. Oh joy, the morgue. Come on. Hurry up and load and don't crash on me. Again. Thank you. 